We don't want to be wearing clothes that are stained with the bloods of dead workers right around the world. Uh, we're asking for fairness and justice and we're asking for it now. Um, we've just produced a small paper installation with 1,138 small coloured triangles, um, one representing each life lost at Rana Plaza uh, one year ago today. The Irish Trade Union movement is taking this campaign very, very seriously. We're calling not only our own members here in Ireland, but right across the globe to think before they shop, to ask themselves a question as to whether the goods are sourced ethically or not, whether the workers are paid a living wage and whether they're treated fairly. There is a compensation fund the target for which has not, not even been half met. So we're here today to urge the brands that haven't yet paid up to pay up as soon as possible. And I signed the petition because I want to show support for people who aren't getting a fair wage and the people that all lost their lives in Rana Plaza last year. I'm really interested in ethical fashion. Um, I really like to know that the clothes I'm wearing have been made ethically and I think that Okay, more people start, should like, be so more uh, outraged uh, by what yeah, happened in Rana Plaza, the like, Rana Plaza. I've been talking to a lot of people who are really excited about the work that we're doing, are really passionate about the issues, really care about where their clothes are coming from and are engaged um, and have really responded well to our lovely installation uh, and it's really invigorating to talk to people who actually care. An extra 25 cents paid uh, on the price of a garment worth 35 euros would pay the living wage for workers in Southeast Asia. We're asking the major retail branches, as Benetton, The Gap, Walmart, to sign up to the uh, Fire and, and uh, Factory Safety Accord and also to sign up to the International uh, Compensation Fund, which is now up and running.